Hello all, welcome back to Mother 3, oh it's such glee, because this song isn't freaking depressing. We just found the treasure of oh so hey castle, not Duster's asshole, but he has to take a dump from my butt and that's why i fight no i totally fucking ruined that hello everybody how's everybody doing uh we're playing mother three i'm so addicted to this goddamn game right now i can't stop i can't stop fucking recording which like is good because i haven't felt that in a very long time in a game that i played LPing, because I'm, I'm always worried that I'm going to run out of things to say, but this game I'm not. I'm totally not worried at all about running out of things to say, but, like, I haven't felt, like, binge recording in so long, it's ridiculous. I don't even know why I'm doing it today, because today's a fucking terrible day to be doing it, but whatever. Uh, last time we found the Noble Spittoon, which is totally what Wes was looking for. So let's go and give it to him after we spin in so many circles. Oh my god, poor Duster. Oh. Oh, I just see if we can make it to the, to the house. No, no, we just missed the door. Okay, let's, let's, fuck. Okay, let's just get in there. And we get to hear the awesome music again, but not as awesome as the music that was played before. Oh, that was faster than I expected. Dude, that was fucking like three videos. That was that was not faster than you expect. I honestly expected that to take like one and a half, but whatever. Okay, let's have a look-see. Ooh, it's shiny. It's this... What is it? This luster. This texture. This delicate, profound, and shiny quality. This is the legendary noble spittoon, passed down from generation to generation in Osohe. You found it. My judgment was correct after all. Duster, you were exceptionally stupider than I thought! You moron! You moron! You moron! You call yourself a thief? You can't even tell what it is you need to steal? Anything else, moron? Did you bring back any other big jackpot items? Are you sure they're not fooling around to try and entertain me, you moron? Huh? Let me have a closer look at that. This... This isn't what I was looking for, but could it be? Oh yeah, that was that girl that dropped that. Duster. That pendant. I think its owner might be the princess of Osohoi Castle. Duster. Your first job was an utter failure, but this is no time to be calling you a moron. I'll come with you this time. We're heading for Osohei Castle at once. Let's hurry to the room that Spittoon was in. And Wes joined your party! Yes, and as you can sort of tell from the music, Wes isn't actually a character that you can control. Um, what the hell? The music changed. It's empty. Oh no. Maybe I should have gone and grinded for thunder bombs for a little bit. Uh, this, this music is kind of a little bit ominous because it's really weird. Oh, Wes, you're so silly. I'm not that pretty at all. I never said you were pretty, woman. Good day. Good evening. Yes, it's, it's in the middle of the day. I'm not stuffed. I'm alive. I'm plenty alive. Damn, damn it. I'm scam. Something's not... Something not right's happening to this village. I can feel it. Actually, something bad could even happen to me, too. Well, you're kind of bedridden and extremely old, so I wouldn't doubt that you're gonna fucking die soon. Uh, let's just... Let's just assume that you're just gone right now and just ignore you for the rest of the game, shall we? Um, ooh, there's pigs now. Oink, oink, oink. I hear some, some pig somewhere talking about a secret info or something or other... Free. Come on now, what a nuisance that guy is. I don't know much about the secret info, really. Pigs. Yes, pigs. Oh, go, 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 go. My rendition of a musical fanfare. Is that supposed to be this fanfare? Whisper, whisper. Hey, Duster, you better not tell anyone about the money I hid in that well. Oh, I won't. I won't. Don't you worry. What's this ground sirloin mean again? Oh god, you are gonna fucking die. We cows don't chew the fat, but we do chew cr cud. What the hell is cud? Even t even toad ungulates? What the fuck is an ungulate? Eh, such as goats and antelopes are our brethren. 
Okay. Oh, we swipe the flies with our tails. Okay. And it's Biff, who is apparently Butch's lover? I don't know. Butch has been acting kind of strange since yesterday. You know what the deal is, Duster? Oh, yeah, I do. But I'm not supposed to tell anyone about your money. Say, about Scam, apparently that's been his nickname ever since he was a kid. I guess he was a real troublemaker or something. Okay, I don't really know why I'm in your house right now, dude. Mr. fucking drunk ass, weird afro man. Let's go visit Hanawa's grave, though. I feel like that would be appropriate right now. Let's let's make our way across town. I don't really know if there's anything that you can do by talking to a bunch of villagers or something like that. I thought coming to the village would be more exciting than staying in a ravaged forest, but no one even gave me the time of day. Okay, that's kind of rude of people. Oh, you're so shabby, Mr. West. Your clothes are all wrinkled. I take it after all this time, we're finally trying to fix your nocturnal lifestyle. Okay. Everyone's been so pale since yesterday. I make some delicious nut cookies to try and cheer everyone up. I made too many, though. You can have one. Thanks? I didn't really want one, but whatever. That's that's fine. I'm Nana. I'm not sure why, but none of the family members in this village really look alike. No, they really don't, which is kind of weird. Um... Nana is, like, the one person in this town that isn't really related to anyone. That's an antidote. Uh, I don't want it, no, because I don't think anything can poison you coming up. Uh, that's in it tea. It's tasty and energizing. Yes, I will take that, because I don't know what the hell it does. Radio, that makes... Well, if anyone makes any more, I'll send it out here. And, uh, I'll take this flea charm, too, because that could probably be useful. Let's talk to Mike over here and see what the hell's going on. Oh, you're Wes's son. My, how you've grown. What, have you just not seen me this entire time? We've been living in the same village. There's a really creepy guy at the Yato Inn. I saw him hit his monkey. He just went pat- What?! Monkey abusers! Let's go check it out, shall we? Oh, fucking Reggie over there, creepy. Last, I had a guest in the middle room gave me a lot of money. What am I supposed to do with it? That's a good question. You know, old Beanstalk leader? The guy at Crossroad? Have you ever seen him talk before? Uh, well, have you and him ever talked before? No. I've never seen him talk before either. Well, that's kind of awkward. Hey there, Duster. I'm, you seem a little exhausted. Old Wes seems more full of energy than you do, in fact. Well, that's probably because I was up all fucking night trying to steal some crap. Uh, this guy. Oh, it's Mr. Wes. Wes up. Die. Please die. You look like you're in a rush. Will you... Why you drop... The, 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 the words... It's locked. Why would someone lock their door? Unless they're trying to sleep and they don't want st people sticking stuff in their mouth. Oh, you're here too, Mr. West. Please, make yourself at home. I shall. I shall. We could probably sleep on that bed, but whatever. Who cares? Uh, I'm going to equip that flea charm and see if it's any better. Uh, mini mini charm. Yeah, defense plus three. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I guess I should probably stop dicking around. Take it easy again today. Come on, Reggie. Give us mother three. How about this instead? Okay. Why would you take it easy any day? Apparently there's work to be done in Tazmili Village, even though it seems very, very peaceful. Oh, what the hell? Huh? What's that odd sound? That's a good question. I'd like to know, too. Oh my god! Are those tanks? What the fuck?! That's a dude in a blue uniform instead of a pink one. And he's got a pig mask thing. Although, it's it's kind of awkward because the blue ones don't really look like they have pig masks. They sort of look like they have just like sort of these scuba suits, I always thought. It looks really awkward. Hey, leader. You gonna talk to me now? Can we, can we talk? Leader, you're always such, such a sad look on your face. Oh, uh, poor leader. He's such a sad yet tall gentleman. I know the burdens. Actually, I don't because I'm not tall. But I know, I know a guy, well, I knew a guy in high school that was very, very tall, and everybody always would introduce him by, Wow, you're tall! And he'd be like, yeah, and you're fucking short. Oh, wow, I sure, well, I sure wound up in a bit of trouble, I did. Some pig-looking guys just bust right into the castle. If you're going inside, <gasps> do be careful. Oh, I shall, I shall. Strange vehicle sitting here. Well, I'm very glad that I don't have to fight it. Uh, let's just hope to hell that I never have to. Oh, God. These freaking pig guys. What appears to be some kind of clay man thingy. Oh, God. That looks like it freaking hurt. Stabbed him with electrodes. Oh, God. For boss time. Again. 
Because the last enemy that we fought was a boss. Uh, and this guy's... This guy's not that hard. He's got quite a bit of HP, and he's got quite a bit of an attack, but uh, he's really not that bad, especially now that you have Wes here, because Wes will attack, he'll sometimes throw thunder bombs, and he'll sometimes heal you or try and scold you. Yeah, the thunder bombs are what do all the damage, pretty much. Um, usually enemies are weaker to thunder bombs than, than this guy. And holy crap, I forgot that he could do the secret thief technique and do a ton of damage. Like a hundred and some odd, um, crushed down on Duster with all his weight. And now he's basically invulnerable, so you're attacking the air above him, which is kind of awkward. I don't really know what's the deal with that. And he explodes, yay. We blew up a fucking innocent clay guy that just attacked us for no reason, which is awesome. And I'm flailing my arms for like no reason here. And yay, we grew to level 16, which is kind of cool. I don't know. I feel like I'm under leveled right now, but I'm probably over leveled. Aww. He can't even get up. Wow, dude, you just kicked him in the balls. And then he got so sad from being kicked in the balls that he just freaking disappeared. That poor guy. Now you can fight the pig masks in here. Um, they have weird music. Uh, and you can kick them and to turn them around, but they're really not that hard. Um, there's some pig masks you fight later in the game that, holy crap, I'm like gonna fucking die here. I should probably heal. Uh, and it T does very little. Stupid phone, stop ringing! Okay, this is kind of bad, so I'm gonna use the Thunder Bomb, and hopefully this will take these two guys out. Um, this music is surprisingly difficult to combo to, I always thought. Fire to beam! Oh god, two HP left. Uh, please, thank you. Oh dear god. Duster is, like, on the verge of death. A uh, bag of pork chips inside. I think that heals 50 HP, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna save that for later, and then go to the hot spring and heal up real quick. Oh god, why why did I have to run into another pig mask guy? Let's see if maybe I can combo this time. Combo properly. Said some terrible nasty things. That's not very nice of you, Mr. Pig Mask dude. I don't appreciate that. You're gonna make me cry. Oh, you would like me when I'm crying. <laughs> this is like the least appropriate time in the entire game to be crying. Because this this is one of those games where like there are a lot of points where you could ball your freaking eyes out, and that's what they look like from behind, by the way. They look kind of awkward. You see the back of their pink necks, and you can just tell that they're a white guy, and that's basically all you can tell about them. Um, but, whatever. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of points in this game where you can be crying, and be very, very justified in crying, uh, but this is definitely not one of them. You know what's really dumb and totally takes me out of the video game experience is something that seems like really overly video gamey like and i i hate to accuse this game of this because this is like such an awesome game but the pig masks to me seem like a very very video gamey thing like you would never actually see somebody dress up in a pig mask and like have like a fucking laser gun and try and attack a village or anything like this and like I, when I talk about video gamey things, I talk about something that's just so unrealistic that it would never happen. Like, talking to ghosts. Like, you could see, like, some form of clairvoyance or something like that going on there. Um, and, like, it's not entirely out of the question. I mean, it's it's very dumb, and it's very, like, it's a very video gamey thing, but, like, like, the pig mask thing is, is kind of ridiculous. Uh, no, this was packed with ghosts, but... Let's say it anyways. Here's my secret hint. Oh, oh god. S same secret hint as before. Bunch of weird guys showed up and started wrecking the place. Now we all fled into this room. Oh, that's not very nice. What does boo mean? Hmm. What does boo mean? Or what does ran boob mean? That's probably the real question that we're trying to ask here is what does ran boob mean? That's important. Also, something I didn't mention about the rope snake is in this animation, this will actually revive characters from the dead. Uh, because in order for a character to actually do an action, uh, they have to have at least one HP. So the game basically sets their HP to one so that they can do that specific action. And then uh, afterwards, they'll be alive. But uh, that's a good way of reviving your characters if they end up dead at one point. I just think it's kind of a little cool little tip. Okay, Duster's almost get dead. Thank God these these dudes keep dropping healing items, which is very, very nice. I'm gonna get rid of some of the crappier ones that I have here. Uh, in it, T, that should heal me pretty much full. Now we're good to go. But, yeah, like, I, I do hate to accuse this game of any, like, video game faux pas, but really, it is a culprit of it. Like, these, these dudes right here, they're very video gamey. Like, and, and anytime you see, like, like, 
I've been watching Edward Bottle's uh, Spyro 3 LP, and there's a lot of things in there that seem very video gamey and totally take you out of the experience. And, like, the world Enchanted Towers totally seems like one of those things that totally would just suck me right out of the game and be like, I am totally playing a video game. And if I were to play that game, I would probably, like, skip that world or try and save it for last or something like that. Let's check out this dance. Awkward dance depicted on the wall. The real treasure is further inside. How do you know that, Wes? That's kind of weird. It appears someone has opened this door. Very recently, too. I believe only the princess has the ability to open the secret door. Duster. This is embarrassing. Turn the other way. Oh god, what's he gonna do? Oh. What? Uh, don't look now! I'm going to sh stick my- well, I'm not going to stick my butt out or anything like that, though. Duster sitting there like, what is even happening? I s- Ah! Uh, um... What? <laughs> I'm totally speechless. I believe I taught you this dance when you were still very young. I even told you a million times to do it whenever you find yourself stuck. The princess most likely went through here. And these pig fellows are probably still inside the castle as well. So we need to be careful, you moron. You made the statue laugh so hard that it opened its mouth. Oh my god, that's so awesome. But we will continue further on to the castle next time on Let's Play Mother 3. I am such a dick. Ah, uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you very much for watching. And have a wonderful tomorrow. Bye.